All right, let's cover a rail right quick. And this is how you refill the cloth or felt on your pool table rails. So, first, get your cloth. I like to give it a little pop, make sure all the dust is off of it. As you can see here first, I made a little line right here. All right, so you have your feather strip. So you take your feather strip while it's in the rail, and you'll see a line right here. Take you, if it's not already there, take you a marker, make you one right there in the center. So at the ends, this is a rubber one. Sometimes you'll have wood ones, but this particular rail has rubber uh, feather strip. So I'll have to stretch it as we go to pound it. So what you do here is get it even on each side. So you have a little space there and a little space there. So what you want to do is center your feather strip right in the middle, draw you a line, and then take the feather strip back out. Take your cloth. A lot of the times it'll have a sticker on it. It says this side up. So actually, you're going to put make sure that this sticker is face down and as you can see here on some pieces of cloth you're going to have this white stitch line so if you for whatever reason it doesn't have a sticker or it falls off whatever the case may be just know that the white stitching as you see on the other side it's gray you know it's nothing the stitching is going to go face down always so let's go ahead and make sure that your stitching goes the opposite direction of the crease so right here is where i'm going to place my feather strip and right here is that white stitching so we're going to put it closest to me that in there take your feather strip line it up with that line put it in there and right here at the edge see this right here would be your side pocket see how it doesn't have a slant on the opposite side of the rail this is going to be your corner pocket it's got more of a slant, so that's going to represent your corner pocket, of course. Alright. So with the side pocket, you're going to pull the cloth straight out. And while that's pulled straight out, go ahead and stretch your rubber feather strip just a tad. make sure it goes to the end of this this plastic piece on the end this is called your facing right here so make sure it goes all the way to the end and is not pushing the actual facing out too much all right now let's do the corner pocket side this is going to be a little bit different, and I'll show you how to do that. So we take our feather strip, kind of stretch it out a little bit, going towards the covering out that uh, empty space. So we want to feel it, stretch the feather strip out to cover that empty space, and go all the way to the to this facing right here. This is the facing. All right. Alright, 
once you beat your rubber feather strip to about eh, right here about about four to five inches from here you want to actually take the cloth and instead of pulling it straight out you want to take it like this right here you want to go up on the corner pockets so So when you get done, this cloth is going to be pulled up on the corner pocket. And here on the side pocket, you're going to see that I came straight out. I didn't pull up on it towards the, what is called the cushion right here. I go straight out. All right. So at this point, you, what you want to do is take your razor knife. Always good to have a fresh razor. So throw that one out. Put you a new one in. So we're going to start at the side pocket. So what you're going to do on this side pocket, you're going to pull your cloth out. And you're going to cut a angled cut. So I want to cut it right in here, right this way. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. Let me go ahead and cut it. First, you're going to put your tip of your razor blade right to the corner of that face, that face and it's sticking out right there. So I'm going to stick it on that. Do your diagonal cut you don't want to cut past the facing because you want it to have that facing has got to be covered so you want to do something a little like this this angled cut you see how it's angled then take this end of the cut it and place it down behind the facing like that so it's in behind it Okay, let's do the side pocket. Side pocket, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to cut an angle out like that. So hold on, let me cut it and I'll show you. Same thing, put it to the corner of the facing right there. Cut. That way you've got a V shape, right? Then, I'm going back over to the other side. We're going to cut this right here. We're going to cut this off. This excess cloth, you don't need this. We're going to cut all of that off. So starting down, I go from left to right like reading a book. So what I'm going to do is this end of the V. This part right here, I'm going to cut along this edge and down the end of the feather strip. So hold on. Let me go ahead and do that. And always be careful whenever you're doing this part so that your razor blade does not slip and cut anything that you don't want to cut so you do that it's a huge headache it can be fixed if you know what you're doing i can fix it but you don't want to do that just avoid it all together take your time cut it slow
Take that, throw it over So this is what you're going to end up with. Looking like this. See? Corner pocket. I wish my feather strip wouldn't have went down that far, but it's too late to do that now. It's not going to matter. Once I wrap the cloth, it's not going to matter. So, don't forget this part. You're going to fold the cloth back over the cushion. And you're going to actually get, take your mallet and pound that feather strip down. So that way it's nice and even all the way across. Now well, you can take your fingers and run across that feather strip. And if you feel a little bump and it's a rubber feather strip, you can kind of push that down with your finger. You know, run your finger down through it. You may feel a little bump there here and there. And you just push that on down even to where it's flush with the top of your rail. All right. Now, I'm going to grab some staples here. So what we're going to do now is grab you a staple gun. I uh, would recommend using a staple gun. But if you have a just a regular old uh, hand stapler, like a mechanical one, you could use that. But it's going to make things a little bit more difficult take the sticker off all right we'll go ahead and flip the whole thing over so I know that the camera is going to be facing the wrong way so let me flip this around here so I can show you guys all right so here is your side pocket this is going to be your side pocket right here so on your side pocket you're going to fold your cloth down straight and what we're going to do is put a staple one staple right here all right once you put that staple there you're going to bring your cloth grab it right here with your two fingers thumb and index Bring it to where it's flush like this right here. Grab you another staple right behind that rubber facing. All right. So then, with that held in place, you can bring this fold down and put you another staple right here where this crease is. So then your pockets, you're going to have a nice crisp, fresh crease all right now on the opposite end it's a tidbit different let's see if i can do this backwards never done it before backwards so let me do it so you can see so what you're going to want to do right here where your facing is angled right in this area right here you're going to take your cloth pull it tight up and what you're going to want to do is do you a small fold. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this backwards. You're going to do a fold. Ah, damn, I just dropped it. Alright, you see how I got that crease right there? You're gonna make you want to make you a crease. So what you're doing to make that crease is you're taking this cloth to the further end of the rail. And you're wanna bring it under and then fold down. Now you don't want your crease to meet anywhere where it's gonna be shown. 
So you want to get your fold as far up this way as possible. So whenever you put the rail on the table, all this looks clean and straight and nice. I could probably do a little bit better job of showing you guys how to do it, but I don't have an extra set of hands. So let me go ahead and just staple it right quick and see if I can't just show you guys what I'm talking about. So first, I'm gonna start with a side pocket. Staple there. And then a staple right behind that facing. Just like that, there's your staple. Right here's your facing. You wanna put a staple right behind there, along with that staple, just right here. So now you got that nice and tight and it's real crisp all right then all right make my fold Make your staple look just like that on the outside pocket. Make a crisp, nice fold right there. There you go. All right, let's go to the other end. Go ahead and do our fold right on the corner of that facing. All right, yeah, let me show you before I go any further. So what I've done is I made my fold as you can see that fold right there you want to tuck this up under this as you can see it's like that right there and then what I did is I sh I'm going to go ahead and shoot my staples going on down the rail now before you go all the way down and cover this completely what you want to do is make sure that your side pocket is straight and what I mean by that is you're going to take this right here pull this up pull it up again Nice and flat up against the down. I'm gonna one there and there. Kind of did it backwards. I could have did a little better job, but it'll be fine. It's all gonna be covered up. So now it's nice and flat. You don't see no wrinkle right there. This way you're able to make that angle look nice and clean. And you don't have any wrinkle right there. All right. So then you want to prop the rail up on your foot. Yeah, I want to show you right here. You're going to have something that ends up looking a bit like this. All right. So what you're wanting to do is take this top you're going to still be able to see where you made your cut earlier take your top and fold it up underneath and bring that at an angle down to where you're covering half 
of the pocket loop. Alright. And you're going to want to shoot your staples in there. You don't want your staples. You want to leave enough room to where you can put your pocket in there. So that's clear. You want to put your staples right next to this hole right in here. Alright. Then you're going to, going to want to go ahead and tighten up this side. I've got a little bit of a crease right there, but I can fix that. It's because I'm doing everything backwards. Alright, let me go ahead and staple it in. I should probably just be quicker to do that. Then you'll end up something like this right here. Well, your staple's looking like this. Go down this end, staples down this end, and put one or two right here. Alright, so now we're going to put finish putting staples all the way down through here. Alright. And there you go. Oh, almost forgot. You got to do your side pocket now. So what you're going to do on your side pocket, everything's almost going to be folded for you right here. So you're going to have this little end. This is where you made your cut earlier. Just tuck this end underneath. Fold it down like that right there, and you're going to put you some staples. Starting about right here, down, and that'll make your fold. Let me show you what I'm talking about. There you go. You've got a nice covered rail. Now, final step. What you're going to want to do is cut all this access off. So anything behind the staples that you just cut, you or just put in, you can cut all that off. Every all the cloth that are behind the staples. See what I'm saying? Cut all that stuff on this end off. You have you a nice clean cut. And that's how you do it.